And nearly four months after the Paris terror attacks, French lawmakers are set to approve a law to beef up intelligence gathering. The government says it's needed to take account of changes in communications technology, but critics say the new law will erode civil liberties. Covering the story for us is James Andre. He joins me now from the National Assembly. James, um, lawmakers weren't given much time to debate this bill, were they? No, they weren't actually. And of course, it is quite an important bill. It's only going through both chambers of parliaments once, which is not how it is usually done. It really is a law that's been ushered through quite quickly uh, by the government. And the president, Francois Hollande, said that he would use the Constitutional Council to get it through if ever there was a problem. But it does appear that it will be voted at a large majority here today. So what are we talking about? We're talking about phone tapping. We're talking about the use of MC catchers, which are uh, these devices which suck up all the data in a certain in a given perimeter from every electronic device around we are talking about black boxes uh, being set up so-called black boxes being set up uh, at the internet providers here in France and that we use algorithms to go through what people are watching on the internet or looking at uh, the contacts they're making and using those algorithms to try and detect potential uh, jihadists and of course well as you were saying it's being quite controversial with the civil liberty groups Yes, and it seems their biggest concern is uh, that the new surveillance powers won't only be used on terror suspects. No, indeed, there is quite a wide base of people who could be uh, concerned by this surveillance. Uh, for example, uh, the, it can be used in order uh, to monitor people who are a threat to the major interests of France on the economic or scientific uh, areas, for example. So we're clearly talking about uh, espionage here. Or, for example, uh, the fact of uh, monitoring organized groups of people who might uh, pause, cause problems on, uh, the, in public areas. So that most potentially means like, for example, uh, political activists who want to organize a protest. So that, of course, is a big problem for the civil liberty groups who are, are very wary of the fact that you do not need the authorization from a judge in order uh, to monitor people anymore. It will go through a commission on the board of which there are some judges, there are uh, some members of parliament, but they consider that is not enough uh, security, uh, enough that it is not uh, a sufficient watchdog for such an important surveillance uh, program.